for the real reading number two. So we have not one topic um, twice on this wheel. You see this? Big Ticket yesterday gave me a lot of topics and yeah, so I'm happy to update the wheel. So <clears throat> we have a lot of um, new, yeah, let's say topics. And last time the Twin Flame won, so yay, so we have the Twin Flame reading that I'm doing today and Twin Flame is going against which topic okay so we're gonna look and i want to talk about the topics first a little bit we have career um yeah i don't know i hope i'm not getting um because of that word but that's about <laughs> you know like i want to use my my adult cards here they're called adult cards but actually it's just nudity on the picture so i don't know but you know, <clears throat> you cannot monetize really those readings. So I hope that gets monetized even if I have the word written on it. <laughs> then we have BTS, you know, <clears throat> if, like I'm, if this topic comes up, I'm doing different BTS topics readings. We have the Imagine, that's also a BTS Imagine. For you guys, we have channeling. I can do a channeling um, on BTS or I can do a channeling on your one which means letters, messages, where I channel your person, okay? Topic I'm doing, what I'm doing, depends on <clears throat> what my mood is, okay? Then we have love, everything about love, everything about crush. We have past life readings. Um, RS is relationship, it's not RM. <laughs> relationship. Um, I'm not doing that often on my channel because there are not many people who are in relationships that come to my channel, you know? Usually I have... Um, <clears throat> Crush, Twin Flame, Genling, BTS. But, you know, I also want to put that topic on because there could be purple lights on my channel who are in relationships, you know. Um, that's probably common, you know. So I want to do readings for you guys, you know, with your within your relationship. <clears throat> we have Friends School. We already did this last time. We have Twin Flame. Then I put a topic in um, that Big Tay told me guides, what your guides want to tell you, you know. That could be angels, <clears throat> ancestors, you know. Then we have a topic, everything about self-growth. Those are readings that I usually do on my channel, you know, everything about learning how to work on yourself. Yeah, and that's it, okay? So today's topic is Twin Flame against what? So let's see. I'm gonna spin the wheel now. Please, universe, give us a topic that goes against... The competition with Twin Flame. Against Twin Flame. <laughs> oh, we have self-growth. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm doing a reading now on Twin Flame and on self-growth. You guys know the game if you have watched my reading before. And after that, you go to my comment section and you vote again which one you like best. And this topic is again in the next wheel reading, okay? So I'm saying bye guys, you know, I really love this, the, the wheel thingy here. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and please like the video. That would mean a lot, okay? Bye guys. Hi guys. This is our twin flame reading. I want to ask the question today, <clears throat> why is he not stepping forward? Because we all want to know, you know, why our masculines, why is he not stepping forward? Why is he not contacting you, okay? <clears throat> so... You see three feathers. We have the blue one, the yellow one, and the orange one. And yeah, I also thought of um, as long as you choose a topic, you know, um, <clears throat> when the topic is repeated in the next wheel reading, like today, the twin flame reading is repeated because you all voted on it. I also want to use the same cards, you know, but this depends, you know, right now I want to do this like this. Maybe we change that up in the future. I don't know. <laughs> so I want to use the same cards. Okay. And <clears throat> we're going to ask the question, why is he not stepping forward? Okay. So choose one of the feathers. And then again, at the end of the reading, once you watched both topics, or maybe you just watch one topic, just vote on the topic that you want to have in the next wheel reading. I'm going 
against the other topic, okay? <laughs> I think it's fun. I have fun with this. I don't know why. <laughs> I have fun with this. As long as I'm having fun, I'm doing this. Okay, guys? See you. So Hyper won the blue pile. So first I want to shuffle the deck. I've never have pre-prepared um, things here because I never know what topic comes up, you know? Well, I know the, the one that you vote on, but I don't want to um, pre-prepare. You know, I want to choose the cards while you're watching. So, in the wheel readings, we'll always have um, a shuffle on camera, okay? So, why is Union, okay? Why is Union blocked with your twin flame, Pal Blue? Why is Union blocked? Um, why is he not stepping forward? That's what we're not, not why it's blocked, why he's not stepping forward. So, universe, why is Pal Blue? Why is the masculine... Let's say, why is he not stepping forward, okay? Why is the twin flame not stepping forward, okay? <clears throat> and I also want to use this deck. I told you I want to use the decks again from last time. So, why is he not stepping forward? Why is he not stepping forward? <clears throat> okay. And I also want to get two Lenormand cards from the Under the Roses Lenormand, Lenormand cards. Why is he not stepping forward? <clears throat> Can I have one more? Why is he not stepping forward? <clears throat> and also from the tarot I want to draw three cards so we have an overall view why is he not stepping forward universe Pablo why is he not stepping forward Pablo why is he not stepping forward? <clears throat> Oops. What was that? It was turned around. We have the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you are in the Queen of Swords energy. Can I see why is Pablo not stepping forward? Why is Pablo not stepping forward? This one. <clears throat> King of Wands, Leo energy. Why is he not stepping forward? <clears throat> Let's see, guys. I think we're having a good view on everything. Yeah. So, let's see. Why is your person not stepping forward? Oh, my gosh. Look at this with these rose things. Oh, what is this? We have the beauty card. Wow. I feel also with what I've seen with the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands, um... I mean, they think you're very beautiful. You, you're the epitome of beautiful. Do you say this? You're the... For them, you are the beauty, you know? You are the rose, the one. The four. Forty is the four. This is means twin flame connection. Um, the one. You know, I see the rose. I, I really feel they are afraid to make a move. Emotions are running high. Look at this. <clears throat> yeah, I think they, what I see with those two cards, I mean, we have to look at tarot, but with the, those two cards, they like really are afraid you cut them out because the king of wands, I see them, they are in Leo energy, you know, and the Leo is very proud, you know, a Leo is, um, they value beauty very much, you know, for a Leo, beauty is very important and I think they see you as their beauty. And also they are very beautiful, you know, this is like a beautiful couple here. 
And because of that, because you embody this beauty, their emotions are going wild and they are afraid you cut them out. The moment they step forward, they are afraid you cut them out. Well, we have the bouquet. Look at this. They, they, <laughs> and the queen of swords. Yeah. There is an age gap here also, guys. There is an age gap. There is an age gap and they are afraid. Like they want to give you the roses. They want to make you a present. I see this here. <clears throat> the bouquet and the mountain. Yeah. That's about communication. The challenge. It says blockage, delay, challenge. Um, <clears throat> there's the blockage. The blockage is because there's an age difference. And um, they are really afraid they ruin it. You know, once they step forward and they say something, because you are their one. And <clears throat> if I see the King of Wands energy, you know, I, I really feel here that um, with these emotions running high, you know, they are high on you. You know, they are high on you. <laughs> they are high on you. They're, they are really afraid, you know, because a Leo doesn't like, um, I don't know, I'm, I cannot speak for all Leos, but as I'm seeing like the King of Wands, they fear rejection. They just fear rejection. And this is the blockage here, you know. Let's see what the tarot is saying. Well, who's this? I think that's the page of pentacles, right? Someone who studied everything. I mean, look at him. I mean, he's reading, he's studying. He studied this connection also. I mean, he's, he's read all about Twin Flames. He studied this topic, you know. And we see the death here. So they know that there is transformation it's important to transform. We see the tools of the magician here, you know, the letter. It looks like they write a letter and they always put the letter back. You know, I think they are on the verge of, um, they want to come forward. They want to date, you know, the bouquet is always also dating. But this blockage is because they're, they're like over emotional. That seems so cute. <laughs> yeah, look at this, the Knight of Wands. See, they are on the verge of walking towards you. They are already, but they're looking back. They're looking back. They are afraid they have to go back once, like they are afraid of rejection. Like, because if you reject them, they have to go back into their old life and they don't want this. They don't want this. They studied everything about this connection and they know that there is a chance that twin flames reject each other. Of course they know everything they studied here. And he's already on the verge. I mean, the bouquet says he wants to date you. This guy is very much in love. The Knight of Wands, also very passionate, you know. You are their one rose. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is so beautiful. Can I see the next one? <clears throat> the Six of Pentacles. Wow, you are like a nun. Look at this. You are like a widow to this person like you see this here you see this connection as that's why death is here you know <clears throat> you don't date anyone you are single if you're if you're not this then it's not your pile you know i see a woman here holding um the bible being very religious or very much into her practice and giving to to souls those i see as souls children you know giving to children you could be a teacher um, you could be giving to other people, like being in your soul task. And you see that, they watch that. They see that you're giving to other people, to souls. <clears throat> and again, we have the age different here with the knight. And we saw the queen and the king. I really feel they want to become the king of wands first before they come forward. Because right now they are the knight. Yep. That's why the king of wands jumped over it. They, they think they need more studying. Look at this. He's also looking at this card. This also tells me that um, they're not coming forward because they don't want to ruin it. They are afraid that they can't give you enough when, when they come forward. Because you are such a... Like they see all this beauty in you and they see that you wait on them. And they see that you are their wish because we have the wish fulfillment here. But everything else is in ruins. You see this? Those are hard times. They see that you give in hard times to others and they see this as so beautiful and their emotions are going wild but the blockage is their own growth 
I feel that they they are the king of wands now and they want to evolve to the uh, they are the knight of wands and they want to evolve to the king they want to mature first that's what I'm seeing here they know everything about this connection they studied everything but they want to evolve oh let's get some cards here I want I want to I feel I want to use them so let's see what they're saying can you give me some more things here yeah look at this <laughs> this is crazy i can't believe how this is you know every time it's like yeah you know um <clears throat> see you are worthy they they need to work on their self-love it's not here it's not a problem that they have with you or anything they don't love you or they just think that they're not grown enough yet they are not worthy of you, they think. And that's why, you know, they're not coming forward. There's this blockage. This is more like a mind blockage, the communication blockage here. The challenge, you know, they feel they are not worthy of you. They feel they have to come up to your level. This is also equal give and take. They think you, um, like they are a child and you are like, like you, you see, they, they see this age different, this age gap. They still have a problem with the age gap because they think they they might be younger than you and that's why they're thinking oh my gosh I, you know if she cuts me out i will never have a chance it's like this immature mindset that they have they are worthy you know but they are in this it's their own mindset that blocks them that's even cute i mean i like this it's cute you know <laughs> i can deal with it but um you know you wish you could tell this person you you wish you could tell them talk to them on the phone and say come on you are worthy you know you're my husband. You're my man. How can how can you think you're not worthy? But that's what they think. That's what they think. They think this connection is extraordinary and they don't want to ruin it. Okay? So that's what I'm having for Pat Blue. I hope you like this Twin Flame topic. Please vote on the topic for the next wheel reading. Bye, guys. Hi guys, next up is Pile Yellow. So now we're gonna see why is your person not stepping forward and communicating with you? Pile Yellow. So I always want to shuffle in the wheel readings in front of the camera. I'm not preparing the piles. That's just because, you know, I know the topic that you guys vote on, but I don't know the new topic that I, I spin. So I don't know, I just feel called to... Um, Shuffle in front of the camera every time. So pile yellow. Why is their twin flame not stepping forward? Okay. Got a card. <clears throat> pile yellow. Why is their twin flame not stepping forward? Why is their twin flame not stepping forward, pile yellow? This one. And also I want to say, guys, I'm, I'm called to use the same um, cards. If I'm not called to use the same cards, I will tell that to you, you know. But if you choose the same topic, I think I want to use the same cards. Why not? <laughs> so I want to also um, use two Lenormand cards. Can I see here for pile yellow? Why is their twin flame not stepping forward? Got two cards. Perfect. I like that when Spirit is giving me um, already two cards. So, pile yellow. Why is their twin flame not stepping forward? Pile yellow. Pile yellow why is the twin flame not stepping forward why is the twin flame not stepping forward okay got one card why is the twin flame not stepping forward so guys let's see I also only read uprights, you know. I hope you can see everything. So, pile yellow. Let's see what's going on with your twin flame. 
Okay, we have master number 22 letting go. So you might see a lot of 22s. Um, this is about transformation, the butterfly. Something they need to let go. Or maybe you need to let go, guys, you know? Sometimes it's also blocked because of the Divine Feminine. But we want to see what the next card is. Work through your fears. Yeah, I really see, feel that's you, guys. You are Your energy is too strong with them, I feel. You could be a Scorpio or a Cancer or Pisces. I feel water sign here. Maybe you are a Scorpio. You're holding on too tight to the energy that no transformation can happen, guys. Um, you know, I told you many times that, um, you know, this is also the solar plexus chakra. This is all about self-confidence and um, being stable on your own. Yeah, the yellow, being happy on your own. And that's what's not happening here. I don't see the thing is that they need to let go something. It could be, you know, it could be, we will see with the cards. Um, that they need to let go something and they are fearful of letting go something. So please take it as it resonates. It could be either you needing to let go of their energy. That means that you concentrate on your self-love. You know, I also have in this reading um, the self-love. So please watch that, you know, grow on yourself, work on your own happiness. That's very important. Don't always put your energy on the other person, on your twin flame, because they feel that. Twin flames are connected with each other. We feel each other's energy, okay? So if they feel that you are too much focused on them and not really letting go the whole situation, that's when they cannot grow, okay? Or it could be the other way um, that this person has to let go a third party. This could also be. This could be a job. This could be um, another person. They need to let go this third party in order to come towards you, but they're not ready to do that, okay? So we need to look at the other cards. We have the owls. That's a couple that's talking, that's um, also talking. That's also Twitter for me, you know, the hanged man. The 12th is the hanged man in tarot. Um, they know, they, they have to see it from a different perspective. But here I see, um, this could also be the parents. Like if they would step forward, they would have problems with their parents, with other people, people who wear a mask or people they have to wear a mask in front of. This could be this third party also, you know, that they feel responsible for the third party. The third party could also be their family, their community, someone speaking about bad about them if they come forward. So they are fearful of, of Twitter. Twittering, you know, people, um, the grave. Yeah, look at this. Exactly. That's why they stay single. It could be on their part then. Mm -hmm. That they need to let go of this fear. Yeah, I think now I see it clear. It's, it's either on your end, guys, um, that you're clinging too heavy on their energy but what I see now more is that um, the Scorpio is rebirth, you know, the Scorpio is letting go and, um, you know, not caring about what other people think. And here I think um, they need to let go what other people think of this connection. They're very much focused on if they come forward, they had to leave something behind and they also know that, um, you know, maybe there is, some, I mean, I see here a twin flame, you know, the two owls. I mean, you're, you're, this is a couple, a, a divine couple, but it's like the owls, very wise, you know, I also see, um, you being old souls. What does it say in the back? Conversation, curious, excitement. nervous <clears throat> yeah i think this is about other people also they need to let go of what other people think of this connection that other people might not understand this They're, this person is very focused on the outside world how the outside world would react if they would step forward yep they cannot do it you know you're like oh my gosh no 
This is also a card if your own energy is too much. It's like your energy is like flying to them all the time and that, that makes them unable to move, okay? Please take it as it resonates. It could also be that, um, you know, the waiting is um, made by the universe. You know, we see this here, there's the grave of the two owls. I mean, this is also union. This is also union. So I could also say union is blocked because um, your energy is like this to, to this person. And that's why they're unable to make a move. Yeah. You have to look what, what it is. It, it, you feel it in your gut, what this is, if this is you or your other person. Yeah. Three of swords. Look at this. Oh my gosh, there's a third party that's not happy with them if they come forward. Look at this. There's a third party. A third party, like they are afraid, like this is in their mind. Look at this, those are sor swords energy. This is in their mind. This is a blockage that they have in their mind, I feel. It's like this, this connection, if they open up about this, a third party would go crazy about this. Yeah, and they obey. Look at this. They obey the third party. They're not ready to let go of this third party. They feel um, a responsibility. So take it whatever resonates. I, I think I know what it is. Yeah, this is a third party. Um, this could also be a contract, guys. And, you know, they are an earth sign. An earth sign is very um, bound. Like, not bound, but they are respond They feel responsibility very strong. So, um, I think they're not walking, you know. They're, they're not going. They're not leaving this behind, this third party. Because in their mind, um, they think that the chatter, the chatter about this connection would destroy the third party and... Um, like they had to leave this third party behind, whatever this third party is. Could be a workplace, could be that, that they had to move away from their parents. Um, it could be that they, that they had to go against their religion, go against their tradition. With the owls, I also see tradition, traditional. This person is an earth sign, like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They are very traditional. Look at this, how they bow. They bow, they are traditional. And this connection is nothing traditional. Um, so the differences, you know, you guys are the same, basically. Look at this. You are the same, but there are differences. There are differences. And this is, this is going on for a long time that they are stuck in this third party and they're unable to move because they think they're going against their tradition and they're not ready to face the, the, the Twitter from other people. They're not ready to face other people's opinions about this if they open up and if they come forward and make it public, basically. That's very interesting, right? <laughs> what? I want to get one more card with this. Yeah, I really feel that's what it is. You are special. No one even compares. Sacred love. There we have it. They know about this, guys. They know. They know, but they're not ready to, to, they're still stuck in the third party. They have to figure that out on your own, on their own. Yep. I really think this is it, you know, please, please apply it as it fits guys, you know, but I really think that's on your person's end. They have to learn to let go of this um, third party. Okay, guys, that's all what I'm having. Bye. Hi guys. So let's see guys, we're having our third feather here, our orange feather. So this is the third twin flame reading. I also felt called to use the same cards, you know. So please, after watching that reading, go and um, to my community post and vote again if you want to have this topic or the self-growth topic again in the next time. So you can choose the topics that you want, you know, guys. So orange why is there not twin flame not stepping forward why is there twin flame not stepping forward no 
I want to try it again. Why is there twin flame not stepping forward for orange? Okay, yep, and it it got red, so <laughs> we just take this as a sign. I also want to use this deck again. Why is the twin flame of pile orange not stepping forward? Why is the twin flame of pile orange not stepping forward? So we have this one. I also want to use two Lenormand cards here. Why is the twin flame of pile orange? Orange feather not stepping forward. Okay, we get two cards. Fell right on there, so I'm very happy if this happens that the universe is already giving me two cards. You know, so very beautiful. And I also want to shuffle the Ludi Lescott Tarot. I'm really happy I'm owning so many tarot decks and oracle cards. I'm, I'm very grateful. It is also a lot of work I'm putting into this channel and almost all of my money that I'm earning goes to this channel and that makes me very happy guys that I'm able to do this okay so why is pile orange feather orange feather why is the, why is the twin flame not stepping forward why is the twin flame not stepping forward pile orange okay pile orange why is the twin flame not stepping forward orange okay so we got our three cards so let's see what the universe is saying to your situation pet orange you know so when i see the orange feather that's the sacred chakra that's all about passion passion lust desire okay so let's see why is your twin flame not stepping forward it says belonging house of the night this could be Corona, you know, that they are unable to move because they have to be in lockdown, like here in Germany, <laughs> you know, as plain as it's said. The house could also be their own house, their own um, soul. Belonging. We have a Virgo. A time to give rather than take. I feel that they have responsibilities at home. And what I'm feeling here, it's almost similar to Pile um, 2, that there's a third party involved. Um, here I feel it's family, where, um, you know, a Virgo is very much dedicated to their family. Um, in order to step forward, they had to leave their family, because I feel that you guys live on separate, like, continents, you know. They have to, they have to go somewhere. This is a, a, a long, like, long distance here. They live somewhere else. They have a different family, different customs, different um, religion, different upbringing. It's totally different from yours, what I'm feeling with this Virgo. And, um, you know, this Virgo is very sad, but they cannot just leave. They feel this responsibility. And we know that Earth signs are very responsible towards their family. And so what I'm seeing here is um, they rather stay, even if they're not happy, but they rather stay where they belong, where they grow up, you know, where they grew up, where their home is, their family is, than to walk away and live with you. Because I think there is some kind of difference between your you and that's and them. And that's always in twin flames, guys. That's always in twin twin flames. Because that's the um that's the thing they have to overcome. And I see this also here. In pile two it was more of a third party. Um where I feel like they have a contract. Here, I think it's because of their family that they cannot walk away. Something with a home. Maybe they also have children that they just cannot leave. Or they are married. Let's see. What else the tarot is saying? The dog. Yeah, they are loyal. The Ten of Cups. There is a family. The moon. Um, They could also have a very much cancer energy here. And they can own a dog, guys, you know. Maybe in order to come towards you, they have to leave their family and their dog behind and they don't can not just do that, you know. But I see them also owning a dog. This person has a dog, yeah. The clock tower. What card is this? It's interesting. It's number 18 and number 19. Six of swords. 
They're waiting for timing. They're waiting on timing. They're loyal to their... Maybe they come from England. They're very loyal to their upbringing, to their, um, to their country also. I feel you guys come from different countries and from different cultures. And they're very loyal to that. You know, they stick to what they know. And it's very hard for them. Um, I really feel that um, you guys pro come from totally different cultures, totally different house houses, you know. And they're loyal. Huh. Let me check the, the 19. Card number 19, what this is all about. Yeah, separation, alienation, authority. Institutionalized perspective. Institution. Oh, that's the tower. Mm -hmm. um, the loyalty has authority. This is what it tells me. Exactly what I said. The loyalty to their family. Like the five also indicates change. Like they needed to change that in order to come forward to you. Um, you come from totally different um, backgrounds, guys. And they needed to move somewhere else. Or they needed, um, like maybe their family also would not accept you because you're from so different cultures um, and their loyalty to their family is right now more important that's what I'm seeing here let's but let's look at tarot yeah we have the king of swords that's the authority card someone like this looks like a father someone would not approve of this connection and they know that and you know this is like they're trying to stand in their power they're trying to be logic about this okay because um it could also f be that they have responsibilities at home so either they provide their family with money or they provide their family or their family provides them so if they would leave they have nothing or if they would leave their family would have would not have enough like anything so they feel they belong there they have to take care of them a virgo is also taking care of people um so yeah, I really feel that they rather stay single and not move, not make a move because of um, this situation at home. And they try to completely cancel their feelings for you. You know, it's like they they try to over analyze the whole situation and the king of swords, you know, um, you see, they have the balance in their like hand, the, the Libra. So this tells me that as long as it, it's not possible for them, they have to balance that out. They cannot just go and leave whatever they have responsibility to behind. And that's why they're not trying to feel anything. They're logic about the whole situation. You know, that's why they're not stepping forward. They can't. This is like the sword of um, truth. So they know it. But the truth also is that they're not ready to leave this responsibility. They are a very responsible person. Could be that also they are Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Um, also a Libra is indicated here very much. And a Libra cares about their people, especially if they have um, a Virgo in their chart also. Yeah, they love you. Look at this. They also love you. This, this love is there, you know. They see this love, but it's tears, you know. They can't. They can't co communicate with you. They can't step forward. It's like they try to shut out this love this big cup they're having that's why everything is like raining it's like they're crying inside you know it's like the love is there but they they are trying to be logic about this that's why they're not coming forward oh my gosh <laughs> what is this oh my gosh <laughs> that's like <laughs> yeah look at this they had to um sacrifice something for this wish to come true and they're not ready to do that for this love to become true, because it's their wish also. You are their wish also. They had to sacrifice someone. This is like a ritual, you know. And they're not ready to sacrifice their belonging because of your connection. They're not ready. They had to leave something behind 
And they're very loyal to this. Very loyal. And that's why they shut this completely off. They shut their feelings off. Okay, guys. So let's get one more card. Yeah, they're not... See? Um, the sacred chakra, this is also the passion. They're very passionate, but they keep it shut inside of them. This is like the inside of them. It's like, you know, the inside of them. It's like, oh my gosh, this is my wish. I want her so bad, you know. But on the outside, they try to pretend. The pretending. Um, can I have another card for this? There we have it. Jealousy. No one can take away what is written in the stars. Our love is special. That's very interesting. So, um, it could be that... <clears throat> Maybe they are jealous because they can't come forward that you might get with someone else or that, you know, that they tell you because you are jealous of this, this, whatever they are loyal to. It could be that you are jealous because you say, well, you stay in this, in this connection, whatever this house is. Um, why? And they want to tell you, it says no one can, can take away what is written in the stars. Our love is special. Like they see that. They want to tell you this, that they are, they are your guy, you know, but they're not ready to leave something behind. Maybe you are jealous because you think that there is another woman, but I don't see another woman here. I see a family, like parents, a father that they have to take care of. I see that they have to provide. They are the provider. The Virgo is a provider. They are provider for the family and they're not able to walk away yet. It's the, the tower, it's not divine timing yet. And they see that you are jealous of this. And they're saying, you know, no one can take away. Our love is special. You see this? This is beautiful. So I hope I could help you guys, okay? Bye. Hi, guys. So here we are with our next topic, which is self-growth. So I thought of a reading idea to look at with the Chakra Inside Oracle and the Chakra Love Cards and the Chakra Tarot. <laughs> We're gonna see what you need to heal, okay? What what um, you need to concentrate on healing right now um, concerning chakras. So we're gonna look into that. You guys know that um, you have uh, seven chakras in your body, you know, those are energy points. And um, yeah, you know, for some of you, those chakras are blocked and um, the energy cannot run fr freely then. And that's where you have blockages. So we're going to look on what to concentrate next. Um, yeah, let's see what chakra comes out, where there might be a blockage, where you can work on. OK, so I want to call it what to concentrate next on your self growth. OK, and we're looking into chakras. Um, that's very cool, I think. And I told you I want to um, shuffle in front of the camera. So after we've done with the reading, please go to my community page and like vote which one of the readings you want to have in the next real reading that goes against the next topic. So if it's is it self growth or is it twin flame again? OK, <laughs> I think this is fun. This is really fun for me these readings because I never know what I will read, you know. <laughs> it's a very spontaneous um, interactive reading that we're doing here. Okay, guys, and you can choose your favorite topic. And if you have a favorite topic that maybe you like Twin Flames a lot, you can, you know, you can, <laughs> you can take that the whole time with you, you know. So we, I, we have Twin Flame readings then every wheel reading if you always vote for Twin Flames, you know. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So pile blue, pile yellow, and pile orange. Um, yeah, choose your pile. And then we're going to see what you have to work on, what you have to concentrate on, which chakra might be blocked. OK, guys? So see each other at the piles. Blue, yellow, and orange. Bye. So guys, we're starting with pile blue. So let's see. We're using the chakra inside oracle. Let's see what comes out, what you need to concentrate on next. I want to get one card. 
then I want to get um, two clarifiers from the tarot and then I want to get some um, yeah, additional information, some advice from the universe. So Pablo, what is it that Pablo needs to concentrate now in their spiritual journey? What is Pablo needing to concentrate? Okay, we got the card here. Now I want to get um, two clarifiers from the Chakra Tarot cards. I think the backside looks really beautiful. I think it really comes out cool on camera. I really love this tarot deck. I really love this tarot deck. So here we go, guys. What is this topic all about for Pablo? We're having this card and we're having this card. Okay. And what is the advice for Pablo? There we go. I want one more. I want two cards. Advice for Pablo. This one. Okay. So, <laughs> let's see what comes out. I hope you can see everything, Pablo. <clears throat> so, what do you guys need to concentrate? Grounding. Okay, number six. Well, that's a very interesting card, right? This is the um, base chakra, the root chakra. This is all about, um, you know, you're flying too high sometimes. You're, you're all up in your head, I think, you know. Um, it's all about presence, practicality, and stability. You know, you need to concentrate on building up your stability next, guys. You know, I think you're very much up in your head. Um, with this card, I also see there's no real balance in your life. You know, um, you, you see how this guy has like earth roots. So I really feel that you need to root yourself and found, found, find the grounding in yourself. You know, um, maybe you get anxiety a lot. So walking barefoot is a good way to do that, to, to find um, stability, to find um, grounding, you know, also meditating with your feet on the ground. It's all about you being anxious very much, I feel here. Let, let's see what the, the tarot cards say. We have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, guys. What I'm seeing here, you're very much in your emotion and that's not really grounded. Look at this, it's the purple color. This is here, the third eye chakra. Um, the Queen of Cups is very intuitive and she, she knows a lot. This is an empath energy for me. But empaths usually are not grounded, um, you know, because an empath, you live through feelings. Also, you feel um, other people very much, I feel here. You... You already know what's going on when nothing has happened. So you're very much in your third eye. I'm seeing here. You're very much tuned into your emotions and you can decide. You know, the Queen of Cups decides from her emotion, not from practicality. So sometimes it could be, guys, that, you know, you're feeling already the things, you know. I really see that you're feeling already um, things in your life and you're making decisions based on your feelings. And that's a good thing. You know, I'm like this too. But sometimes we're missing out on practicality, you know, sometimes we're missing out on grounding. And that's why sometimes we, we don't see things as they really are from the other perspectives, you know, because we feel these emotions. And um, maybe if you look at other people, you feel their emotions and you really know what's going on, but you cannot help them really. And you need to ground yourself in, in order to be stable, not to be swept away by these emotions from all those other people. You know, this is a very good thing. Like if you're an empath, your third eye is very open. Um, try to ground yourself that the energy of all the others around you goes back to the ground. You know, that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, look at this. You're all in your third eye and this is the crown chakra. Judgment. Yeah, I think you also call judgment on people um, very much here. You know, it's like um, you're seeing already, you know, you're seeing already what's going on with people. It's like, you know, before something even happens. And this is like the the um, the throat chakra, the color of the throat chakra. So you're speaking up. I think you're calling judgment on people because, you know, you're calling them out, basically, <laughs> because you know what's going on. You know, you can feel them and you're like, you know, um, 
maybe you're calling friends out or you're calling on people um, sometimes seems rude for them so maybe not in order to not overdo the whole thing because you i see you very much in your headspace this is the crown chakra you know the crown chakra is above our head this is the connection to the universe so i feel that you're also very connected to your angels um they tell you everything about persons about people and you know everything what's going on and that's a good thing you know it's a good thing it's it's perfect but um you know sometimes you're missing out on because you're so much in your head, because you're so much talking to the angels, it's also good to ground yourself, to ground your energy. Because then if you don't do the grounding, um, you know, if we're only in our head, we might overanalyze things or we might um, over worry. Okay. And this is what should not happen because of all the talking with angels that you're doing or the feelings and the unconsciousness that you're trying to reach, that you're seeing. Um, of all the third eye things that are going on, you need to focus more on your base chakra, on your grounding, okay, guys? Because I see the, the third eye is open big and the, uh, the crown is very open big, like big time. You are an empath, you are a healer, okay? But we healers, we need to work on our grounding and stability, on living life, basically. Because with that, you cannot really, you know, you're, you are different than everyone else. And that's what I also said. I'm really happy if you guys find my channel because I can help you guys, you know, um, because that's what we are. You know, we are empaths and we feel the energy of others. And sometimes we have a hard time fitting in. And this is basically it. It's grounding yourself and feeling complete inside of yourself, finding stability in your own self um, so that you are not dependent anymore on what others think about you because you're so different. I see here. Okay. So what is the advice from the universe? We have the solar plex chakra abundance. The world is abundant when you choose to see it that way. Yeah. Don't focus on negativity, like calling people out all the time. Um, don't do that. You know, try in those times when you, you know, you want to call again a person out. Try to focus yourself on your own grounding. Okay. It helps you better persevere and to be also in the presence and not always seeing in the future. I see you see everything in the future. But, you know, you always have to consider that people also change in the presence. You know, I really feel that you, you, you know this changes in people and you know this maybe if you start a relationship. I just want to give an example. You already know where it's going. So maybe you call judgment on it before it even happens. You don't give a chance. You don't ground this on earth because you're saying, well, it's not working out. I already know this, but you know, energies can change and you also need to give people a chance. I see here, you know, this is very important. You need to work on your base chakra. I feel your solar plexus is also open. You, you are very abundant. Look at this. Wow. Confidence. No one will believe in you. If you don't believe in yourself, be your own cheerleader. Yeah. I really feel you are this. I feel your solar plexus is um, either it's very open because we have it here that you're very confident and you're calling out people and you're saying, hey, listen, you know, if you speak with me like that, I don't care. You know, I'm not talking to you again. I feel that you're not nice towards me. But, you know, always ground yourself, guys. This is very important. Let me see if I can read the grounding card to this because I want to also give... Maybe I forgot something, what I can tell you. This is number six. I want to read you the card message. It says, a dream is like a seed held in your hand. It may contain infinite possibilities, but in order to grow, it must be planted. We may have all the right ide ideas, but to realize our potential, we must learn to anchor our visions into our bodies and bring our presence into the moment in very real and grounded ways. Exactly, you know. Sometimes we can become so caught up in our projections of the future from or our recycled tapes from the past that our energy is literally absent from the moment we are in. Okay, that's also important. Be in the present. Being grounded helps us feel stable and balanced in our life. It infuses our movements with a quiet strength and enables us to anchor our visions into physical form with practical, reliable action. So before you go sprinting down the path of far off dreams, take time to be truly present with what is right here and now. From this place of balanced connection, you have the capacity to manifest great dreams and desires. 
who reaches greater heights than a deeply rooted tree. So what I see for you, part one, you need really to focus on this grounding. You, you, are, you have a lot of dreams, you have a lot of ideas, you can all manifest them because you also have a very high open solar plexus. I think with this abundance and this manifestation confidence, you can make anything happen. But please try to do it step by step, you know, and live in the moment, okay? Very beautiful. So that's all what I'm having. Bye guys. Hi, pa yellow. So let's see what you need to concentrate on in your soul journey. For your own self growth let's see pile yellow please universe pile yellow what does pile yellow need to work on what chakra do they need to work on pile yellow universe pile yellow what do they need to work on next in their soul journey okay you guys all need grounding do i have so many empaths on my channel <laughs> this is crazy this is crazy Okay, now I want to get um, two more cards for this. Why is this here, universe? Pile yellow. Why is this here, pile yellow? I'm going to get this card. Why is this here, pile yellow? Pile yellow. Okay, this came out. I only read uprights, you know. And I also want to get an advice from the universe. Okay, we've got this card and also another one, this card. Oh, wow, they look almost the same. Look at this, guys. <laughs> what is this? This is like the same background, only a different color, isn't it? <laughs> look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? That's funny today. So let's see. I think I got another grounding card. So. We have what you need to concentrate on next is number three, action. Movement, perseverance, discipline, motivation. Yeah, I really feel that you have a lot of ideas, you know, you have a lot of things that you want to manifest and um, um, you need to focus next on action because I think all this lockdown, all this COVID stuff has um, put you into a space where you are kind of like unable to move you know I feel you you know what you want you know with the solar plexus um, there's a lot of confidence to be on stage or to um, you know but you're not motivating yourself I feel that that you're missing out on the motivation you're missing out on movement you need to come into action again yeah also you know be disciplined and work on your tasks you know I, I really feel you distract yourself a lot you know you you're very much in your head and when you concentrate on one thing you, you distract yourself and then you focus on another thing so this is also what grounding means you know um being in the moment and taking discipline on your actions you know especially if we had the school reading um a few days ago and we had um yeah like concentrate on your tasks you know concentrate on what you want to reach your dreams you know but it doesn't bring you anything if you have just dreams but you don't get into action you know if we're just having a dream and but we're doing nothing for it well we can sit on the stream for like forever you know um i also see with this three card that um you know you have a lot of guidance from the universe towards your dreams so i think you see a lot of um especially in music and dancing you know that's why you're maybe here on my channel because you're an army and you know the boys motivate us the boys bring action to our life through their music through their music videos so i really feel this is a call for action to you you know oh yeah look at this fight for it look at this she fights for her dreams even if the sword is too big because maybe you're also missing out on this confidence because we have the yellow smiley here. Maybe you need confidence, guys. Maybe you also need to work on your solar plexus and on your grounding. Because here, this woman, I mean, the ace of swords, she knows the truth and she fights for it. This is a fighter. Even if it's hard, she fights for it. She takes action. This, this is exactly this action card, you know, taking action towards this. Um, yeah, but you're afraid. Look at this. You're all in your head, guys. You need to ground yourself. You need to work on the space chakra. 
Look at it's all orange and um, red. This is grounding your passions. Orange is passions. You have some kind of um, fear concerning letting out your passion. It could be that you have stage fright, you know, or that you are afraid to stand up for what you believe in, for what you are confident about. You're not really confident. Maybe you're overanalyzing and in your head, maybe people tell you you're not good enough and you believe this, you know. This is not good, guys. You need to take action on your dreams. Let's read the action card in case I forgot something. It says, in our modern world, with so many different pressures and roles to play, our actions are often inconsistent, postponed, or not aligned with our goals. We stand at the edge of our dreams, overwhelmed by uncertainty of how to best begin. How to be best, how best to begin. This card is here to remind you that you don't need to see the entire path. You just need to clarify your intentions, feel the rhythm of your calling, and begin. Take the first step in faith, knowing that the universe will align to support you. Consider an area of your life that you are ready to change or transform. Ask yourself what physical action you can take today, perhaps in the next 10 minutes, to assist in bringing about this goal. When our actions stem from a sense of inner knowing, like a dancer moving to the poles of an inner rhythm, our steps will always be guided and true. Don't wait for things to happen. Yeah, this is this card. You're stuck. Start dancing and the music will rise to meet you. Start something, guys. So what is the advice here? The root chakra, I told you. Foundation is what the castle of your soul is built upon. Look at this. I mean, we have strong root chakra here. Very, very strong. You need to put action into what you believe in. You need to start even if you can't see the path. Maybe that's why you're afraid. You're afraid where this might lead to and that's why you're not confident enough. But the universe is saying, yeah, you have a heart. Father Divine and Mother Earth make love in your heart. Look at this connection <laughs> yeah look at this you're very much in your divine consciousness you know what you want you know what your soul is here for but you're too afraid to take the appropriate steps because you need to ground mother earth you need you know this passion is from your heart you need to you know if you need to ask yourself is this passion really from my heart if it is guys no one can stop you you need to begin just with one step and you need to let this go, this over worrying, you know, this is I'm not good enough. This is not being confident. So I see the three chakras that you need to work on is the root chakra, grounding yourself, the solar plexus of being confident, but that comes with the action. You know, we begin with the root chakra and then you move upwards and letting this go. This is the sacred chakra, not feeling like being enough. Let it go, guys. You know, this is very important. You need to start in order also to find confidence, in order also to find this happiness, because this is the sunshine. The yellow smiley is always also for me, the sunshine, the happiness. You need to start, guys, okay? So that's all what I'm having. Bye. Hyper orange. So let's see what you need to work on. And please, after the reading, go to the community posts and post what of these two readings you want to have into in the next wheel reading either the twin flame topic or the self-growth topic you know so what is it Pi orange needs to concentrate on next oh there's your card <laughs> if it turns around like if it, you know if it switches the, the the color i always know that this is what they want <laughs> this is so cool okay i want to I want to shuffle again for you guys. Well, sometimes they don't want to shuffle. They think it, it is shuffled enough. But we can shuffle, you know. We can shuffle. So, pile orange. What do they need to concentrate on? What is this here? What is this card? Okay, we need two cards. Can I have another card? <coughs> Mm, no, those are two cards. I just want one card. Thank you. Because if it, you know, if it's meant to be, guys, it will come out again. And I also want to get 
to advice from the chakra love oracle <clears throat> mm -hmm. one more card please there you go so beautiful car colors isn't it beautiful colors so let's see part three what you need to work on wow we have the 27 your heart chakra you need to open your heart chakra it says stability harmonies peace fluidity emotional balance yeah wow this is about self-love big thing guys big thing i think you have a lot of passion you know you're a very passionate person the sacred chakra is open for you i think here i think you're someone that has it easy to talk to people but when you really like someone it's like you know when you fall in love it's it's hard for you to fall in love it's it's either you fall in love too fast and you're constantly in love with someone else you know and but but you never go into the step of having a connect, like a relationship or um you know you're not being able to love at all it's like you're having all this passion and you ha can have wonderful passionate times with someone but as soon as you fall in love you you're running away from this okay so this is the two things your emotions are not in balance and that's why you cannot really find peace you know because either you are on the run because you don't want to um, get stuck in a connection in a relationship or you are constantly following people constantly loving like falling in love and you're chasing after them because um you want to have this relationship so bad because you're not loving yourself enough you know um i feel here more you're waiting for this rainbow so please take it as it resonates i really feel this is the enlightenment to love yourself you need to find this balance this harmony this peace this fluidity and the stability in yourself this is big self-love what i'm feeling here i also see two swans here i don't know if you can see it but um i see the um the the highlighting like the the shadow of two swans so this is um finding the one you know open being open for the real person being open for love i see you've been single for a long time and it's either you're chasing the wrong people or you're running away from this you know please apply it as it fits but we have the orange smiley which tells me that you can be very passionate about things you know you're very passionate passion is lies inside of you so let's see what this is we have the ace of wands yeah look at this your passion you would say this is my one so there could be two things also you know it could be saying that you already know who you are you know you know exactly who you are and you know exactly what you want um if you have a passion you go for it but you I also see that you love making love you, you just love this but you you put out your feelings please take it as it resonates so either because I have the two things here so either it's this running away knowing who you are not wanting to get stuck with one person that's one cup because you want to you want the excitement of love you know you think that it gets boring once you have stability and harmony in love it gets boring for you and you run away this could be one emotional instability or you are a person you fall easily you know you're very passionate and you say this is my one and then you're almost like obsessed about the person you know and that's why they run away from you okay <laughs> so this could be either part you know you have to apply it how it fits yeah but we have grounding here again <laughs> wow we have grounding here again wow look at this you're a really hard worker i think you also put in a, a lot in your workplace you know you're a really hard worker um you know exactly what you want basically and your work making money this is what turns you on you know this is what what you live for i see here with the eight of coins you are working very hard and you 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 built this empire here for a long time whatever this empire is this could mean anything you're very grounded you know you're not in your feeling space i feel here you're not in your feelings so please take it as it resonates we can have again the two things so either you know you're 
you're very grounded, you know exactly who you are, you work really hard, and if someone makes you stuck, you go, you run away, because you're very independent, you want to stay an independent personality, that's why I see with the nine. Um, or it's the other way, completely other way around, you don't like being single at all, and you're just chasing the cup from people, you know, you're just chasing for the one, and you fall in love easily, you're very passionate about the one then, and you make everything happen to get this person, and you work really hard on this, you know, and you, you, you only want a relationship that is stable, that is long-lasting, you're not going for, um, you know, this could be both ways, really, guys. This is funny here because it could really go both ways. But I want to read um, the number 27 for you. So in case I missed something, it says, Our emotions are the creative engine of our experience. They are like the fiery steed that pulls the chariot of our life. If we want to know what we are creating or why things are showing up in our life the way they are, we must look first to the thoughts and feelings we generate on a daily basis. There is an ancient saying that says energy flows where our attention goes, where we turn our focus, emotions build and experience follows. It is time to consider this wisdom in the emotional balance of your like life. Take time to fill our cup on the inside creates a powerful balanced foundation for all of our actions in the world. Likewise, when we bring our attention to creating order, peace and balance, this also facilitates harmony within. From this stable and balanced place, we find ourselves more equipped to respond to life experience and the emotions arising. It is time to focus on cultivating emotional balance within. Everything else in life will fall harmoniously into place as a result. See, it can be both. It, needs, it, it means that even if you're the runner or you are the chaser, this could be both. You need to find balance. You need to find grounding in your emotions. Let's see this. The, <laughs> look at this. Forgiveness. You find freedom in forgiveness. See, there's something that you have not forgiven. And that's why it is the situation is like this. Usually this is in childhood, childhood wounds that I see here. That's why you cannot really love yourself. You know, maybe you have to forgive a parent. This is very important. And this can be seen either way. If you're the runner or the chaser, um, you know, I'm not talking here about twin flames. You know, there's also this run and chasing um, theory, but it's more like in a fake um, twin connection, I feel. So if you have this, it can also be in daily life. You know, you don't have to be a twin flame to be a runner. You don't have to be a twin flame to be a chaser. It could be that, that you embody these characteristics. And usually, you know, um, the forgiveness likes, li lives in childhood. And then we also have the third eye chakra, the knowing. The signs, there will always be signs to guide you. So that's very good. So I think that you are guided to find this emotional balance. You don't need to worry. The universe is with you. They see that you're very grounded. I feel this is your plus. You're very grounded in life. So you can concentrate very good now on this emotional balance. Yeah, that's what you need to work on, Pile Orange. Okay, so that's all what I'm having for you. Now go to the community page and um, where I post and post which one of the readings you like best either this self-growth reading or the twin flame reading. The topic that wins is up in the next reading. We do another reading about this topic, okay? See you guys.